What's up guys? Welcome to Food Friday. Today we are making some keto chocolate chip cookies. These look super yummy. And you can see here it requires two large eggs, a stick of melted butter, two tablespoons of heavy cream, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two and third, two and three-fourths cup almond flour, quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon keto-friendly granulated sugar like Swerve, and three-fourths cup of dark chocolate chips. We are going to be using lilies and a cooking spray. And it's easy, three-step process, takes about half hour from start to finish. So you wanna say happy food Friday? Yeah. Say it. Happy food Friday, thumbs up. And subscribe. And be sure to check out our other Food Friday videos in the iCard over there, I think, or over there. I don't know. But you click on it. Double thumbs up. First thing I'm going to do is melt the butter in this glass Pyrex bowl here. So just a little tip when you're melting butter, make sure that you cover the top and don't do it too long because it tends to explode and it makes a mess. So be careful. Okay, so you want to grab a large bowl and that's where you're going to mix the eggs, the butter, melted butter, the heavy cream, and vanilla. After that, you will stir in the almond flour, salt, and the swerve sweetener. The yolks kind of break those up a little bit. I tried to let the butter cool down a little bit so the eggs don't cook in the hot butter. Then the almond flour, salt, and the swerve. I'm actually going to be using Wholesome Zero Sugar Organic Erythritol. It's the same thing as Swerve. I got it a little bit cheaper at a local market that we have. Um, you're looking for Erythritol for the sweetener. I don't know if it really matters which one to use, but I'm just going by the recipe, so I'm using Erythritol. If you want to get Erythritol, I will put a link in the description as to where you can get that on Amazon. For hand whiskey or anything. God made machines for a reason. Now it is all mixed up and we want to fold in our chocolate chips. Half of a scoop of the three-fourths or a quarter. This is a quarter cup. I added another half scoop of that into the bowl because yummy. This is all uh, put together. So I'm going to take a cookie scoop and put together some little cookie balls on this baking sheet. All placed beautifully on their pan and they're going in an oven at 350 degrees for a total of 17 to 19 minutes. But before you put them in, you're gonna wanna smash them down with the bottom of a glass so that they look more like cookies. Finished product. Some keto, ch what? keto chocolate chip cookies. You can see how they taste. And the description, in the description is the recipe for this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.